Hey everyone, it's Andrew here, here doing a movie review, and today I'll be reviewing Force Awakens, the new Star Wars film. I went to go and see this yesterday. I saw it at 9 a.m. straight when, when as soon as the cinema first opened, because I couldn't, I wasn't able to book it anytime sooner or anytime later. So they chose to watch it. And I really wanted to see it as well because I've been waiting to see it all year. That's the return of all the original characters. Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia. The list goes on of all these like iconic characters. Now I wasn't too big of a fan of the prequel trilogy. I don't mind them. I don't hate them as much as some people do, but I I don't really like the the characters in it. It's, a, it's not really creative as is the original trilogy. The original trilogy is the best in the whole um, franchise, and it still is now. The Force Awakens, it was a really good film, but it was never going to um, live up the expectation of being better or being as good as the original trilogy, and I was expecting it not to be as good, but I was hoping for at least a good watch or as a good science fiction film, and that's what I got. I thought it was a quite a good film. Um, I wasn't blown away. I, I say the, the biggest letdown of it is like the characters weren't as good as the original characters. You just you're just watching it. Um, to look for the original character like that, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, you just wait for their, their appearances to come along. Now the the new character isn't too bad, you got like this guy called Finn, he's like a stormtrooper who's kind of switched sides. I thought that was really good, he's played by, I forgot his name, but he was in Attack, Attack the Block, he was like the black main character in that, and he's one of the main characters in this, and you've got a character called Rey, Rey I thought she was a good character, she's like, they don't tell you where she's from and that, but she, she starts off with Desert and she joins Finn's character and they're like traveling together with this like little robot called BB-8. So they're like traveling around. I thought that's pretty cool. Like, I like BB. I thought I thought the BB-8 is gonna be like a really annoying Jar Jar Binksy character, but like just like replace R2D2 sort of. But it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too annoying. And I did. I thought. I thought because it's Disney, they'll go too cutesy with the whole Star Wars films, the whole Star Wars franchise. Cause I thought I was, I was worried about them because Star Wars is supposed to have like a bit of an oomph to it, and with Disney, they don't really have that. And luckily, they did like stay with like the original characters, keeping true to them. But the new, the new kids, they weren't. I wasn't amazed by them. I was. I did like that. I did like some, like, like I said, Finn and Ray. I did like their characters, but apart from that, I wasn't really amazed. But there was one, the one, one creature was a bit like Yoda. I thought she's like this old woman, and she's like speaking to Han Solo. Well, Han Solo is the main, one of the main characters that come back into this. He's like he, he. Thought, I'm not gonna say what happens to Han Solo or what how his story what happens to him in the film because they just ruined it and I, I, it's one of those things I want to tell you what's happened but I don't but I don't want to because it will just spoil for you they spoil it for you so I'd say watch it for yourself and just don't tell anyone because it's one of those kind of films and because you've got the original cast coming back and Luke Skywalker um it was a bit disappointing um with his character but it's more of a disappointment of it's a good disappointment if that makes sense like you, you want to see more of him but you can understand why they didn't show more of him and it kind of it kind of sets it up for the next film as well because they're gonna make three films in this like sweet sequel trilogy so i can't understand why they didn't want to um like pay attention to his character too much because they because the main focus of the main character was Han Solo in this film so i can't understand like they don't want to all focus on like Luke Skywalker, if he's going to be in the other films as well, so I can't, can't understand that. And there is a big like big event that has Han so I don't want to say what happens to him, but it was amazing, and it it wasn't something you were expecting. You, you have heard rumors, but I wasn't too sure. But you just have to find out, see if the rumors are true, and see it for yourself. I don't, I don't want to say what happened. And Chewbacca's character, I really liked him as well. He, he's he stand for himself. He wasn't like a. He wasn't like a tag along. You actually had like a character in there. Like you can see like he understands people and stuff like that. I really like Chewbacca's character. I'm glad he came back with 
C three PO and R two D two didn't really see much of that. We saw a bit of um C three PO with like Princess Leia and like Mini Girl R two D two. R two D is basically like just frozen, but I don't want to say why or it's 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 one of those things you want to, you want to, you want to explain what's happening but you can't. It's just certain things are happening but you don't want to say why they're happening. But you can't, I can't have to say it, like say what the film's about. I really like the Kylo Ren character, the main bad guy in this film. He had like a hood over him and stuff. We've seen him posters, he wore like a mask and a hood. His character was, was like a, a child. I'm not gonna say how he's bit he's connected to one of the characters, the original characters. And I really like how he's a bit different from Darth Vader. Like in Darth Vader, I thought he's gonna be a carbon copy. I I, I really do want to see that, but he his personality was different. He was a bit of a brat. He was he didn't like people telling him what to do. He was going off his own thing. He had, had a bit of a strop, like he got like a lightsaber and started absolutely scratching the place up when he didn't get his own way. I thought that's pretty cool. It was it was different how like Darth Vader would, would approach things if someone's telling him what to do. And I thought it was really good like and I like the little battle um, in the film as well between Ren and and this Kylo Ren character. I thought it was pretty cool how how they had a battle and stuff and like but I did major major problem in this film was the CGI, the CGI mixing with like the practical effects. I did I did really appreciate they did use practical effects in this film because in the in the prequel trilogy they absolutely used it for just for the sake of it and I, I really didn't want to be like that. And I thought um, JJ Abrams he did a fantastic job of doing that, like keeping it how the original films were made, because this was a continue, this was continued after, a few years after the original films. And yeah, like I said, it's really good to see how these like old characters came back, see how they changed. And overall, it's a good film. It's not the obviously it's not going to be the best film in the Star Wars franchise. It's going to be the original three. They're always going to be the best, no matter what you do. It's, they always are. It's just the way it is, and and I wasn't wasn't expecting it to be better. I was expecting it to be a good film. As long as they, as long as they respected the original characters and keep them going how they should be, how they should be like you would expect them to be. Like Han Solo would be a bit older. He still got his bit. He still got his personality in that, and like Luke Skywalker now. I was, like I said, I was a bit disappointed by Luke, Luke Skywalker character, but I can understand that. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next film they make. I don't know what it's called, but I'm really looking forward to when, when that comes out. I'll definitely go and see that. But yeah, this is my, my quick review. I really, I really recommend you see if you like it. No, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure if you like Star Wars, you'll go and see this. But this is my quick review of the film. I just want to talk about it. And yeah, it's a great film. I really, I really enjoyed it. And it's definitely it's definitely one of the better Star Wars films, um, way better than the prequels. I say it's my my third or fourth favorite. I'm really looking forward to what they do with Luke's character in the next film. See what they're gonna do with him and continue with this Ray character. Sorry if I got his name, the, her name wrong, Ray or Ray. I don't know. I don't know what she's called, but I'm just reviewing this straight after I've seen the film. I'm really tired, so. But anyway, thanks for watching my review. I'm going to give this a 8 out of 10. Um, I'll make this, it's one of those films I'll have to watch again. I'll just uh, watch the little details because maybe a few things I might have missed. Because it's like that watching back the, the original trilogy as well. Each time I watch them, I always know something I hadn't noticed before. So hopefully the second time may be as better as watching the first time. So. That's been my quick review and um yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.